guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. It is the eve of Christmas Eve, and I'm doing a huge Dollar Tree haul. I actually have a ton of stuff that I need to haul and use for wrapping, so I have to get on it. I've actually started wrapping um, a lot of my gifts, and a lot of the time, and I don't know if other people do this, but I really love skipping buying wrap altogether and just using bags. I don't mind that they have the lines in them. I honestly, it doesn't bother me. I do like to buy really pretty ribbon like this one, which honestly, I just discovered this ribbon the other day and I couldn't believe how gorgeous it was. Do you guys see that? I even want to use it for Valentine's, I think. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love anything that has birds. So I did wrap a lot of my gifts in brown paper from bags from shopping bags from the dollar tree because i buy them like almost every day and i buy tons of them because when i find good stuff i don't always have enough totes with me so i like using them and recycling and then i just add um you know whatever little berries i have or little greenery that i have and i do love to buy the tartan plaid gift wrap that the dollar tree sells I think that's my all-time favorite gift wrap that they sell year after year. And I always buy the tartan plaid ribbon. It comes in the nine foot roll from Crafter Square. I buy it year after year and I literally love that ribbon. It happens to be, it happens to be my absolute favorite. And honestly, a lot of the time, like this, this gift is going to my husband. So once he opens it, I'm going to take that ribbon and I'm going to stick it in this big bag of ribbon that I have that I reuse year after year. So it's not even like I'm spending money on the ribbon after a while. Most of the gifts that I wrap for my family, I wrap like this and I just reuse it year after year. And it's like I pay nothing for the ribbon, honestly. And even if like I bring it somewhere and someone opens the gift and they don't want the ribbon, I will always take the ribbon back. Something else that I buy year after year, I actually picked these up for $9.99 at Marshall's are, um, well, they're calling them six luxury dinner crackers, but they're just really cute little things. Do you guys ever buy these? Do other people really love them? I don't know. They're one of my favorite things to open up wherever I am for Christmas or for New Year's. And um, I love buying them after Christmas at like 90% off. So we can do tons of them for New Year's. And they always have like a little paper crown and they have like a little joke or riddle. And they're, I think they come, they're British. I know that they're called British crackers uh, a lot of the time. And they have like a little tiny favor inside of them but I just feel like they're so fun and these are just really pretty so I bought these to take to my in-laws and we can do them on Christmas after we're done or before we even open our gifts or maybe after dinner I don't know but we're gonna definitely open them at some point because I just think they're such a fun thing to do and you pull them apart and they make a little pop uh, sometimes they have um those actual party poppers in them and sometimes they don't but they're really fun. Oh yeah, and this one is called the British Cracker Company. Just so happens. I'm just wondering, does anybody else do that? Um, do you guys like these? I'm just curious to know what other people use these because a lot of the times when I, a lot of the time when I mention them to my friends, they're always like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, what? You have to look at them. They're the greatest things ever. I just love these. First and foremost, I need to share with you guys the cereal deals because they were unbelievable. Now, I did buy the limited edition um, Team Cheerios Frosted Berry Cereal the last time they had it at the Dollar Tree. I bought quite a few boxes. Actually, they're almost all gone. Uh, I mean, I think I have one box left and it's open because uh, I gave it to my friends. I gave it everywhere. It's one of my favorite cereals, though. I think it's so yummy. I think it's one of the best Cheerio flavors there are. And this time, it's a one pound, two and a half ounce box. The last time it was here, I believe it was a 10 ounce box, but even at 10 ounces, I was very happy with that. This is even bigger. Then they have Booberry, which my son absolutely loves. 
He loves Booberry and he loves Frankenberry. So this is definitely a very, very cool, exciting cereal. And this is a one pound box, you guys. 16 ounces, one pound box, unbelievable deal. That's what the cereal itself looks like. So those characters are all in there. If you're not familiar, it tastes like blueberries. It's very sweet and definitely a child cereal, but still it's a great deal. Then they also have the Jojo Siwa. I've never had this cereal and it's called Strawberry Bop. Naturally flavored with other, with other natural flavors. Sweetened corn puffs with marshmallows. Huh. I've actually never seen this cereal in real life other than at the Dollar Tree, but it, it looks like it would taste a lot like, I guess, Captain Crunch strawberries. I'm just curious. So that's what it actually looks like. That looks like a very, I have to smell it. I have to smell everything. I don't know why I have to do these things. I, I want it to taste like Nestle's Strawberry Quick. Okay, that tastes just like Captain Crunch, but it has marshmallows. I mean, it's pretty much, it's basically Lucky Charms marshmallow type stuff and the, and the berries from Captain Crunch. So it's all the fun stuff and nothing serious. Okay, Jojo. <laughs> then I found the 10.8 ounce pumpkin spice Cheerio cereal and I love this cereal. This cereal I paid like four bucks for or two for eight, I think it was at Target, and I've we've already eaten both boxes, um, like in around October. Amazing, delicious Cheerios, and to get it for a dollar and a quarter is a fabulous deal. And then look at this one, Monster Mash. I absolutely am obsessed with this cereal. It looks so cute. It has, basically, it's a mashup of all of the Frankenberry and the, I forget, it's not Count Chocula. Is that Count Chocula? It is Count Chocula. Frankenberry, Booberry, and I don't know who the other two guys are because I don't think they have their own cereal. I guess they're like supporting actors in the whole cereal game. But all five of them came together for this mashup where you get, oh, duh, Marina, maybe if you read. Okay, so... Wow, I've never even knew about this. But it, so so right there is like the history of these cereals. 1971, Count Chocula and Frankenberry step into the scene. Okay, okay, that makes sense because I remember chowing down on that in 1970 whatever after I was born because I'm born 1972. And then in 1972, Booberry turns the monster duo into a trio. <laughs> okay, I love this so much. I don't know why I love this silly stuff. In 1974, Fruit Brute joins the group. I guess he's like a fruity flavor, the fox looking guy. And then, or I, I mean, he's a wolf. Yeah, so Fruit Brute. I get, oh yeah, I get it. Brute would be a wolf. And then in 1988, Yummy Mummy rounds out the lineup. But Yummy Mummy is like a lemon flavor one, I think. Whatever. Now we know the history of these guys, but the box is delightful. It's so 70s. I literally love it, and it's called the Monster Mash, and I just really wish that I had seen this during Halloween because I would have bought it at Halloween, and it just makes me want to sing the Monster Mash in my head while I'm eating it, even though it's the day before Christmas. But I'm excited that I found it, and I hope you guys find it too because it looks like it's going to be a really... This is like dessert cereal as far as I'm concerned. It definitely replaces cake or dessert because these are pure sugar, but fun to eat every once in a while. I did pick up these gorgeous, gorgeous burlap sacks for, you know, I bought some of my loved ones, little jewelry items and things like that that come in a box. And sometimes I feel like it's fun to take something because you know how they say like good things come in small packages take something 
that comes in a small cute package and then disguise it in one of these bags with some tissue paper so they have no clue what they're about to open and then they get double happy because usually those are the best gifts and um yeah so i just love love these bags so much i think they're lovely i mean they have a couple of nah no big deal you just trim that off they're really actually well made it just so happens to look like they're all they're great actually really 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 well made bravo dollar tree two pieces for a dollar and a quarter i think they're gorgeous i bought tons of these tons i held back a couple for some younger loved ones of mine and they are so cute. Do you guys see the little pan with the clear top lid, the salt and pepper shaker for seasoning, the spatula, knife, and then the little burner? How cute is that? And it even has a little knob and it comes with the red base yellow burners or the yellow base red burners. Either way, kids are going to love them. And there's variation in the cutlery and stuff like that, but just so adorable. Kids are definitely going to absolutely, oh, one is a frying pan and one is like a casserole type pan. Wow. I didn't even notice that. I love them. They're so nice. Oh, oh, and one is a fork and the other one's a spatula. So I guess I'm spoon. I guess kids actually need both of them to have like a bigger fun set. And why not? They're two fifty for two of them. And kids definitely love these awesome pretend play items. And they're really, they teach skills. I think it's a really good item for kids. Basically, this haul has absolutely no rhyme or reason. But this is a giant magnet, which I know I could do tons of things with. It's called locker wallpaper, but it's a giant magnet for a buck and a quarter. You know, you could do tons of stuff. You could decoupage anything you want over this and make your own magnets. And it's so much. Do you guys see how big this is? It is, um, wow, they don't have a size, but it's huge is what it is. It's definitely over 12 by like eight. I would say like maybe 14 by eight. So I think that that's an amazing price for all of that magnet. And all you have to do is cut it into pieces. I showed these in a walkthrough a million years ago, but here they finally are, and I'll definitely use them. I'm always mailing things out. I do get better deals on most of the stuff that looks like this on eBay, or mostly eBay or Amazon, but I did buy them to share with you guys, and some stores still didn't get them, and they're still coming in little by little in the Jot section. And if you just have one package to send out, it's not the worst thing in the world. There's two sizes, as you can see, and the pink one is nine by six. It'll definitely fit a lot of items in it, depending on what you're shipping out. A bubble mailer um, definitely adds an extra layer of air to protect your merchandise. And I did buy these in all the colors that are available because I don't really care what color I use. I do ship things out all the time, and it's just good to have them. I actually do have Christmas gifts that I haven't shipped out yet, so I will be using these. And these are 11 inches by 8 and a half inches, and they did come in just these colors, but I still think that these are great colors for any time of the year. Valentine's, not just Christmas, birthdays, any time of the year you could use gold, St. Patty's Day, any time of the year, New Year's gifts, whatever, nice packaging, and not that much money if you just need one. But if you need a lot, definitely look on Amazon or eBay. You get way better deals. I think this is actually not a bad deal. Five for a dollar and a quarter when you need envelopes this size. So I do pick these up all the time. Actually, I like that they have this kind of stickiness. And um, and it works really well. So I do pick these up at Dollar Tree. I, when they were a dollar... I used to buy them all the time from Dollar Tree, but they're just regular manila envelopes and I do think they're a good deal. And then they also have the smaller ones that are six for a dollar, now a dollar and a quarter. So, but I picked them up at a dollar. These are not recent purchases. Then this is actually a new item that I think if it is what it says it is, is actually a great deal. There's three of them. And they're 10 by 13 mailers for a dollar and a quarter, not a bad deal. But these are the reusable ones. If they have the two sticky tabs, that's an awesome deal. If they don't have the second sticky tab, 
wait they do yes see that's amazing so basically the person that gets it can reuse it i think that's brilliant and i love i love recycling things like this i love the fact that you could do that so when you're packing it up you make sure to use the furthest one so that the person who then gets it if they want to send something back to you just folds it over after they're done opening it tears that away and reseals it how incredibly brilliant is that a lot of the ones that you buy um from ebay in those places they are not the two-time reusable kind and i don't mind paying a little extra to know that more than likely it will be reused that makes me very happy i hate i hate waste so i love that they're reusable and three for a dollar and a quarter is fantastic price I picked up a couple of each of these. There were other colors, but um, I don't remember what the red one was. I think it had the red truck even, but I passed on it because I feel like these are something I could use all winter. And I absolutely love snowflakes, love them. And uh, these say joy to the world. I think that they are fantastic. They do have a little handle, so you could put treats in here or even gifts. You can literally make a cute little gift basket in here, put tissue paper, and give it to someone right under the tree. It doesn't even have to be food oriented. It's just another fun lip balms, socks. Two, you get two for a buck, and you can literally fill it with a bunch of chapsticks and some socks, whatever you want. But I actually had leftover chicken soup, and I put it in here, and I was really happy with the size it's really good it's like two bowls of soup and it stores really cute and nicely and i just love these and they're easy to like grab i mean this actually is is in there it's not coming out see that so i don't know i really like these look at how it seals that's hardcore that is why you could put liquid in here which is what i really appreciate i bet you could probably even put this in the freezer as long as you don't fill it up too much. So these are awesome. I have been looking for these, this awesome burlap gift bottle bag for all of Christmas, <laughs> since the beginning of Christmas. And I it has a heavy, heavy, like burlapy chemical scent, but I don't mind because I'm just gonna put the gift in, gift it, and maybe they'll reuse it. I think that it's such a nice gift bag though for, olive oil not just wine you could do so many things like really high quality olive oil infused with stuff people sometimes make those like artisanal olive oils which is actually what i'm putting in here i'm putting um flavored olive oil in here and gifting it so i was really really wanting these and i actually stocked up on them even for next year because i love to give people like um my own olive oil or vinaigrettes and things like that i'm actually really good at that i mean I'm, i love making like lemon vinaigrettes and stuff like that and i love to put them in a big old bottle and i think this is the best bag to gift them in i was looking for these ornaments literally forever as well and i just love them they're actual real little pieces of wood you guys you can put this on a gift basket and just write the name of the family that you're sending it to or your sentiment and the year and then they can put it on their tree and it'll be a memento i love that i just love these for gift tags i love writing on wood i think it's very fun to do and gift now these are just as cute but they're not made of real wood so these are kind of like beyond fantabulous for a buck or a buck and a quarter they were out when it was still a dollar but Dollar Tree did not give it to us. They made us pay the buck and a quarter for these bad boys. That's okay, though. I'm not mad because I love those as well. I stocked up for next year, and um, I'm definitely going to be putting those on gifts this year. Like this one, I'm going to put it on, plus I'm going to put a ribbon. I just think that they're amazing. Um, and then you can also use these as gift tags as well. You get four for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter. They're like heavy duty cardboard, but still you could use them as ornaments and that's what they're intended for. But I think they make really great gift tag, like, you know, to and from on the back 
and then the person can use it as an ornament in the future. I always like to write the year so that if they do use it as an ornament, they can just remember that you gave it to them. I think it's a really cute little thing to do. They have like four or five different designs of these um, Crafter Square DIY canvases, but I just got this one. It says, coffee is always a good idea. I'm going to be gifting this to a friend. I almost feel like you don't necessarily have to paint this depending on what your space looks like. But if you do choose to paint it, you can paint it however you want. You can put bling on it, whatever you choose. I think it's really, really cute and a fun little project for people that are looking for something to do. If they're off for the holidays, it's a definite easy, easy DIY. I don't really know. I don't really know which ones, if any of the men's razors are really good. If you know, let me know. Um, but I picked up these because my son has been cutting himself constantly and I don't know what to do about that. So um, I got him this six assured men razor. You get two in here for, you know, two for a buck and a quarter. And it has six blades, I'm guessing. So that should be smoother than the three count of five blades. But honestly, you just never know with the Dollar Tree. So I got both of them. And whichever one he tells me he likes better, where he doesn't give himself you know, some massive scar on his face. Those will be the ones I continue buying unless you guys have a better suggestion. I was able to find a bunch of what I believe to be new masks, although sometimes I forget things I've already tried. Um, but these definitely look good. This is a smoothing hair clay mask. Yes to smooth operators, super blueberries and Greek yogurt with probiotics mixed into a creamy clay to help keep the frizz away. So I like that. Frizz fighting for frizzy and curly hair. So I picked that up and I picked up several to share with some friends of mine because honestly, that's definitely not a dollar anywhere, anywhere else. Actually, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Pamela just made me aware of it. Some of the hair and face masks are ringing up a dollar at the Dollar Tree, whichever ones the Dollar Tree considers medicinal. I'm not sure because I don't have, I can't find my receipt for these, which is bad because I'm supposed to be keeping track of them. But, um, and I may have bought them before the price increase, but now I'm really curious and I'm going to always pay attention because I thought everything across the board became a dollar and a quarter. But some of the like health and beauty, health part of the health and beauty section is a dollar, like medicinal stuff, I guess. And some of the face masks are considered medicinal. I don't know, but that's really exciting because that saves us money, guys. So we can buy more. Now, the Yes to Tea Tree Scalp Relief for Dry Itchy Scalp Soothing Hair Clay Mask. This says that it's for dry and itchy scalp soothing hair clay mask. And it says, Yes to a moment of zen with tea tree and sage oil mixed into a creamy clay to help calm and soothe an itchy scalp. The Dollar Tree has all these like Zen um, CDs and all this like new agey stuff. So you could put like a really fun basket together because the this has the word Zen in it. I just think it's very, very cute. And then it says yes to charcoal detoxifying, volumizing and clarifying hair clay mask. Another great product. So I did pick up a few of each of them. I love to try hair products at such a huge discounted rate from the Dollar Tree. These are never a dollar anywhere else. This is one of my favorite go-to um, toothpaste. It's 2.7 ounces. This company compares themselves to Sensodyne Pro Enamel and rightfully so. This is for sensitive teeth and a really great buy. I picked all four of these super duper adorable canvases. I feel like all four of them go together. I think that maybe it was intended for this to be a set because they definitely are a pair. You can do them however you want or these to be a set. And they're so, so adorable. But I picked them up for a teenage girl who I know that loves pink and is going to go crazy gaga over these. So I definitely think that that is a very cute little gift that I'm going to be shipping out. And I hope that she likes it. So 
for like less than five dollars i was able to buy a really nice like teenage gift and don't you think that they're gonna she's gonna love that absolutely loves this kind of aesthetic it's very her and this says you are my sunshine isn't that gorgeous with all that bling i absolutely love what they did and this platform high heel it's just the right amount of fabulous and tacky and all things great i just love these i did find these glitter markers and they look really promising I don't know if it's the stuff inside or the packaging that glitters, but that makes me think that they're going to be great. And they have like hardcore caps, so we're going to test them out. But I think that these are great for filling out cards or whatever. It's just fun to have glitter markers. And they come in green, yellow, red, silver, blue, and purple. So we're going to open... I think the blue and purple is probably going to be my favorite. I really hope that they write really glittery. I haven't actually seen anybody test these out. I know they had them before, but the caps on these are different, which leads me to believe that they're just a different batch of markers altogether. So here's the blue one. Ooh, you have to get it started. It's like, what? This is exciting. This is almost like a paint pen. Do you guys see that? You got to get it started. And any day now, it's going to start. Let's see what happens. Hold wow. These are amazing. So now that the color or like the paint has, these are really amazing. I am, wow, I am pleasantly surprised at what can you do with these? Vibrant metallic ink that glitters, decorate paper, cards, and more. Hmm. It doesn't say what the more is. So... It doesn't say like plastic or ceramic or anything like that, which would be great. Um, but it definitely is very glittery. I don't know if you guys could see that. More metallic than glittery, but definitely really pretty. They write really nicely. Actually, I'm going to write on this. It's like a more porous paper. Let's see what happens. It's not really glittery. It's like metallic but it's very pretty it is kind of glittery but not really i am totally loving these kiss nail tattoos i've never used anything like that but i'm really excited about trying them aren't those beautiful and i feel like i could use them over just about any color gold red this one um i don't know just anything the possibilities are limitless and you get 16 of them but there's like a lot of components to them. So I don't know. They're really, really cool. I bought two packs of these because I can't wait to test them out. Maybe for New Year's. These are the rest of those little pet bow ties that I'm sending out to my friend. I did share them in my last haul, but I think this is all of them. So they're going to get shipped out in those cool mailers very soon to my buddy Claudia, who makes the most amazing DIYs and has sent me packages and she was like "Ooh, have you seen those and in the back of my head I was like not only have I seen them but I'm gonna buy you every single one of them so I can't wait to see what she makes out of them and if you guys watch any of my friend mail videos she's a subscriber and she's very talented she makes um travelers journals and all kinds of awesome DIYs I keep telling her she should start her own channel so I can't wait to see what she makes with these. And maybe if you don't start a channel, Claudia, you can share whatever it is that you do with them um, on the Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict page on Facebook. That would be really cool. So these are on their way to you, plus the other ones. I always pick up these Lenny and Larry's cookies. I think that they are a really great snack available at the Dollar Tree. They have five grams of fiber. They're totally plant-based non-gmo these are the peanut butter chocolate chip and my son even will eat these and it's definitely better than eating any of the other cookies most of the time that the dollar tree has and these if you stop in a 7-eleven or something like that and you grab a cup of coffee these are 2 dollars at 7-eleven so i like to buy a couple of them for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter stick them in the glove compartment and if i run into a 7-eleven or something like that because i'm dying for a cup of coffee i'm not going to spend three bucks on a cookie to go with it if I'm stuck in traffic or something. I already have my snack in the glove compartment from the Dollar Tree, and it's a good one. Better late than never. I bought tons and tons 
of these Minions Splatums. And I'm really curious to really see what's in here. Um, you know, I'm sure the kids are going to like them, but I just, I'm going to open this one up and see what, what I gave away. All right. Once I get it open, I'm already happy to see the little minion sitting there. I don't know why, but I just, there's something about minions that I just love. He's like a squishy minion. So I guess, I guess he's the thing that gets splatted and this is like the catapult, I guess. Okay. And it does have the various components to building that whole little scene that it shows on the box. I have shared that. And you're supposed to try to get it through that, um, which I'm going to assume is pretty hard, actually. But... They are, at, they're actually adorable and I could see kids definitely flinging them and losing them, but you know what? It's still fun. So all you have to do is just put it on here and just launch it and try to aim it to go through that little round thing. And it definitely is really easy to launch. That is such a cute little thing. Really? That's adorable. Kids definitely probably got a kick out of that. Another rebuy, this Trident um, Black Raspberry Twist. I'm obsessed with this gum. It tastes so good. These are some more items that I bought by the Droves. And I have to say that I think they're fantastic. They're like an 80s fidget spinner because such, like the sound even is relaxing to me. And I really enjoy doing this just over and over again. I'm probably annoying the crap out of you guys, but I literally love it. So I feel like this is old school fidget spinning at its finest. And, you know, for such a small amount of money, this really is kind of like a stress reliever, but it is a cute little stocking stuffer. This would be cute for even Valentine's Day. The colors of this make it actually kind of a cute thing to give a guy on Valentine's Day with a couple other items. I don't know. I just feel like these are really, really fun for the money. Definitely worth the money. I bought a bunch of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I can do all things through Christ. And it says there are the Philippians 413. Let's take a look at what's inside of it. Really gorgeous. Wow. Each and every single page is different. I just went through it. It says, the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The next one is, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but, but have everlasting life. So each and every single page is a new scripture. Wow, that is amazing. Each and every single solitary page in here is a different quote from the Philippians. So that is, that's really a beautiful gift. Wow, I'm, a, I'm really impressed. You would never know that unless you open it up in the store and you're not supposed to do that. So that's really amazing. And it does have the little flowers and it's like a, it's not white. It's like a lavender color paper. Very beautiful gift with a nice pen. They have those beautiful pens with the gems on them and people can write their thoughts on here or whatever. It's just nice to read it and get positive feelings from it. I did get a pack of these boxes. You get five for a dollar and a quarter or a dollar depending on where you're at. But these boxes are really great, great for last minute stuff that you have laying around that you're gonna toss in a box. Let me show you exactly what they're like. First of all, I absolutely am obsessed with this print. So I had to buy it just because of that. I had to buy it. This print, pretty much anything that they made in this print, I needed to buy because it just is the most pretty print the Dollar Tree's ever made. This is the print from their scarf this year that I love. So in case you guys have never bought these, this is one side of it. And then there's a lid to it. And I think that these are just 
a phenomenal deal. Look at how cute that is for five of these. They have better boxes at the Dollar Tree that cost a dollar and a quarter, but you know what? Who cares? Why would I pay a buck and a quarter for a box when I get five of these for a dollar? They're only, if you've, once you fill these with tissue, it doesn't matter that they're not as, actually they're fine. Once you really put something in here, they, the sides stay very put here. I will put my mango banana gift to my son because he's obsessed with those, but I'll show you guys what those are in a minute. And I think these are the best kept, <laughs> do you guys see how hard it was for me to keep that in my Butterfingers fingers? Um, okay, so these are like the best kept secret at the Dollar Tree. I just feel like people do not realize how fantastic those are. Isn't that fantastic that you get five of them? Seriously, how crazy is that? The best kept secret at the Dollar Tree right here. I've always said that I, I think that the Dollar Tree's party stuff, and I consider gift wrap and things like that, party stuff are amazing. Look at the box that that makes. This is the cap that says Joy. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Gorgeous. Then this plaid one is outstanding. Look at the cap for that. Noel, um, let it snow, peace and joy, merry and bright. You could take that and put it in a little frame and make a DIY out of it. You could do so many things with these, but they're amazing deals for gift wrapping. And this one is just all poinsettias all the time. You can't go wrong with that, guys. And you put a lot of red bows on it and ribbon. And look at this just classic winter, gorgeous. And this, I showed you guys, and I am in love with it. And that's the, you know, the tipping. And this one doesn't have any tipping. They're just all beautiful. This one didn't have any tipping either, but they all look really, really pretty. And this one's tipping is plaid. So nice. Aren't they nice? And there were so many styles. And I feel like people just don't realize how incredible these boxes are. And the packaging doesn't show. And that's the mistake. If Dollar Tree is listening, I'm sure they're not. They should put a picture of what this box looks like. And they would, they would sell out in a heartbeat because five of those is amazing. Now, these uh, Wana, Banana, Mango, and Banana Fruit Puree that are um, all fruit, no sugar added. They're not non-GMO, but it is what it is at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes you get non-GMO, sometimes you don't. But you do get three for a dollar and a quarter. And I did buy the flavor Pineapple Banana, but my son, actually, I bought all the flavors but my son has like eaten all of, he loves them. He puts these in the freezer and then after about an hour, eats them and is, they're delicious like that. They are so good. So if you kind of like froze fruit, it's sort of like that and it's brilliant. He just squeezes them out like, cause there's not so much in here. So he puts it in the freezer and even if it, he leaves it in longer and it gets rock solid frozen, he just keeps it in the palm of his hand and squeezes it into his mouth and he absolutely loves it. It's like, froze fruit. Absolutely yummy, yummy on the go snack. I did pick up some of these hats for us, for my son and for me. I don't know if he'll wear it, but he used to like those kind of hats. Somebody will wear it when it's really freezing out here because it, it gets so cold that you don't have a choice. You just wear the most heavy duty hat you can find. And uh, I'm going to see how this looks on me because I actually really like this hat. I actually really, really like this hat. It's definitely gonna be really warm. It's lined, and let's say it comes to the point where your hat is like flying off of your face because it's so windy and crazy out, you could actually even tie it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna go to that point for it from the get-go, but isn't that a cute hat? It actually looks really cute with my sweater. Wow, I really kind of love it. <laughs> I feel like a snow bunny right now, but it is really cute, actually. Unbelievably good deal. For a buck, I think I got this for a dollar or maybe a buck and a quarter. It depends. I can't even remember anymore. But either way, I would have bought it at either price because I think these are a great value. I could not resist these guys. They are going to have to find a spot in my gingerbread themed cocoa bar. To add to some of the gift bags that I'm making, like... Some of the bags that I'm making have like a lot of tissue in them and some small presents. So I'm going to toss some of these, 
pretzel balls in and some of these double crisps in and just smalls like I like to add something maybe like that one of the turtle dark chocolate pecan cluster bar packs you get three three if I remember my son loves these but you know if you're giving someone a gift card or um, a pair of socks and a gift card throw some tissue paper in some chocolate and sweeten the deal like that's what I'm giving my sanitation people here like that's what I do with my sanitation workers I was able to get two packs of those big fat really warm men's thermal type socks that I got one pair for my son he loves those but I'm going to give it to the sanitation guys that are on a regular route here and I'm going to put some tissue paper some chocolate bars in it and throw some candy in and I'm going to put cash actually because they don't want gift cards they want cash but you guys get the deal so you know and I'm putting it in like those teeny tiny little gift bags but I mean, I feel like for a couple dollars, you're going to make a lot of them. And it sort of really does, up, it really makes the gift look much nicer. And I don't know, I think it's just thoughtful. And I believe me, I won't lose my garbage cans. As long as you make sure to take care of your sanitation workers, you lose a lot less garbage cans that way. So always remember that. I bought several of these Demets Turtles. See, it's the brand is called Demets, D-E-M-E-T-S. Um... They are crafted since 1916. These are actually expensive in other stores. And they're not always, always available at the Dollar Tree. They also do come in milk chocolate. I didn't always see these in the past in dark chocolate. But my son loves them. And they're a big hit with a lot of people. So I picked up several of these. So I picked up a lot of these Flip Spites. I have to say you get three of these and these are, I guess I do like some chocolate. I don't know what I'm talking about. These are actually amazing because I like anything that has pretzel in it. I love pretzel. Now you guys are starting to get it. I don't like just chocolate. It has to have like fruit, nuts, pretzels, all kinds of stuff in it before I start to like it. And yeah, these are, these are really good. And my son loves them and my husband loves them. Everybody loves them. And I'm definitely going to be putting them in lots of different stockings or gifts i'm just throwing some sh you know if i'm giving a gift bag i always throw candy and stuff in with the tissue paper then i found these and i've never seen these before at the dollar tree it's by the brand nuts cashew almond duo that looks delish it doesn't say whether they're salted or unsalted these are salted but they're roasted and salted um cashew almond and the packaging is fabulous you get two ounces, and I absolutely love both cashew and almond, so that's a great buy. I picked up by CoverGirl this True Blue mascara, and here's the deal. These cannot stay on the card. I bought a few of them, and I kept one to try it, but I returned the rest of them because I bought them as gifts, and I hate that I have to glue things back onto the card. A lot of the time, that's the reason that they end up at the Dollar Tree. This um, CoverGirl mascara container is metal. I don't know why, but for some crazy reason, that makes me very happy. I've been trying to use this for the longest time, but I refuse to use it until I shared it with you guys. It says that it's, um, it's part of the CoverGirl exhibitionist line. It actually says that they polled people and 90% of the people that they polled, um, loved this mascara now here's the thing who did they pull like were they people that get a paycheck from cover girl or complete you know i don't know it's a strange thing to write on packaging so i just thought i would share that and then it says four out of five saw longer thicker lashes i've never seen mascara to have so much um like pull so much information on what people thought of it but i can tell you that the color of this mascara the color just the color of the mascara itself is insane looking how good it looks don't you guys think that that color is amazing you know what i i actually feel like i can see the blue and it's noticeably different which is what matters to me but i will say the greatest mascara i think i've ever tried from the dollar tree is the ioni mascara the other day if you saw my video Comment down below if you remember me trying on that mascara. I've been trying it. Honestly, I've been wearing it like every day. I love it. I think it's amazing. But 
Now I'm adding this blue in and I really want to see if I could tell that it's blue because sometimes the mascaras that are colored at the Dollar Tree just, I don't know, they don't really, yeah, this, I feel like you could see it. It's kind of juicier than the hard candy one for lack of a better word because some of the blue ones that I bought from hard candy, I feel like they don't do enough. Yeah, I could definitely see the blue. I like how it looks. I really like the metal case of this mascara. CoverGirl Exhibitionist True Blue is a nice mascara, and it really is very true to the color. That is really the color of it. So I think that's a great find. I think that these are absolutely brilliant by Original Gourmet Holiday Shaped Sugar Cookies. Now, I did buy two of them. There was another one that had a dinosaur on it, and I skipped on that one. I just am curious to see if the cookie is sealed inside of here or just loose willy-nilly in there because that is what's going to make me decide whether this is totally the best deal the Dollar Tree has for last-minute gift giving because if you don't have a gift and you have a gift card and you need a gift card holder and you find these and the cookie is sealed, that's better than getting an empty gift card holder, isn't it? I mean, I think so for sure. If only I could get this package open, that would be great. Um, it's taped shut really well, which is making me think that it might not be sealed on the inside. Oh, wow. You see that? The cookie is sealed. How awesome is that? So you just put the gift card right in there. It doesn't even suggest that you do it as a gift card holder, but it is like, it does have the ornament string and you can hang it in your tree, but it, it has this delectable little sugar cookie inside. It's actually a really beautiful sugar cookie not for nothing, but how cute is it to put money in there or a gift card in there? And the Dollar Tree had lots and lots of gift card holders, but none of them gave us free cookies. So I love these and you know, I picked them up. I think that's amazing for emergency little, if somebody stops by that I wasn't expecting to see, I could tuck a $20 bill in there even chilling with my nomies. And oh snap, the gingerbread man. I love them. Then I did pick up some of the Trolley Bright trees. They're sour trees and they look to be delicious. More stocking stuffers. The Mike and Ike Merry Mix, which is lime, cherry, and holiday punch. Another definitely yummy, yummy stocking stuffer. I love Dollar Tree candy is always a great deal. I did pick up some of these Snickers peanut brownies. The boys love these as well. So like I said, I'm loading up their stockings. They're going to have sweets for months. This was the very last smashed up box of Christmas dots in the store. And these are so delicious that I bought myself, myself, you guys, a stocking stuffer box. Look at that. It was like underneath the, sh I just bought it anyway. It was so smashed, but I haven't seen any of these. And they came, I did buy one in the beginning of the Christmas candy explosion. And I've been eating a little bit, a little bit every day. And I finished them and I was devastated. So now I have a whole other box that I want to keep like closed for a long time until I'm really craving these. These were so good. I hope I stumble across like a 50% off pile of these because I'm going to get like five. Cherry lime and vanilla flavored gumdrops. If you guys have tried these and love them, let me know because they're my favorite holiday candy ever at this point. I love them. I did pick up some of these as well. And these are also like nice little neighbor gifts. You can wrap this in some paper, put a bow on it and gift it to your neighbors. No biggie, easy peasy. Um, Barton's Caramel Peanut Crisp Clusters. They're super delicious. And the Barton's Peanut Butter Clusters. These are honestly the best chocolate I've tasted. I honestly, in the boxed chocolate like this size, these taste expensive. They do not taste like Dollar Tree chocolate. A lot of the chocolate that the Dollar Tree sells in this size range is not yummy. These are really good. Even my husband and my son go crazy for these. So uh, you don't get a ton. I think you get six in here, but the package looks expensive and that's what matters as well. And they're a really good deal. I did buy a bunch of these So Natural freeze-dried banana slices. And as you can see, this package is empty because 
I bought six of them actually, and they're all gone. They're non-GMO freeze-dried bananas. You guys, these are incredible. If you see them, try them. They're not sweetened. They are not candied fruit. So they're not going to be sweet. They're freeze-dried in their natural state. So don't expect them to be like candy, but they're really, really delicious. And I'm only saying that because I've heard some people say, oh, I don't like how they taste. That's how a real banana tastes. It's just freeze-dried fruit. And it's really amazing to have it on hand in your house just in case something happens and you can't go out. You can reconstitute freeze-dried stuff or add it to recipes. There's a lot of stuff that you can do to it, but it's a really great snack. I bought four of these Lugano strawberry cream filled premium white chocolate truffles. You guys, these are delicious. Well, I do love white chocolate. That's I love. They're so creamy. The middle is creamy. It's amazing. Like I can't even tell you. I bought four boxes of them. I just bought one in the beginning and then I picked up three more and I'm going to hide these. Nobody's getting them. They're mine. They're amazing. Let me show you guys what they look like inside. Look at that. Isn't that so it's just nice. You can put them in a candy dish or in your candy bowl. They look very high end. Because honestly, I feel like they are. These are not cheapy candy. I picked up some of these beautiful velvet bows. I actually plan to put them on some of my packages. I picked up like five of these. And I think I'm going to hold some back for Valentine's Day. Because I just feel like these are cutesy, cute, super cutesy, cutesy, Valentine's-ish. -y. I love the material velvet. Makes me feel like it would be kind of Valentine's-ish. Because it's luxurious. And yeah, I'm going to probably use these somewhere in my Valentine's decor. I did find these and these are full spectrum CoverGirl concealers in medium tan and uh, deep cool. They are definitely going to be used as gifts because they're not my foundation color. They're not my concealer color, so they're going to be used as gifts. But if you're looking for something like that, you guys, it's available at the Dollar Tree. And this line has so many shades. You have to Google this full spectrum coverage to really get a hold of how many shades there are out there. I'm sure there's one for everyone and you never know what you might find in your Dollar Tree. I did pick up ages ago one of these Crafter Square glue guns. And it was actually perfect that I had it in some of my whole bags because I tried to do a DIY the other day and Max chewed up the wire to my glue gun. So I need this $1 glue gun and it's an incredible deal for a dollar and it even comes with two glue sticks. So that's like an amazing find. I picked up a few of these to give to some people that I'm going to be giving um, little gift cards to and gift bags. The Frosted Cranberry Yardley Soap, which smells amazing and the sparkling cranberry hand sanitizer in a little gift bag with tissue paper and a gift card I think is a nice little gift and I also picked up the um, cinnamon swirl which I used actually last night I bought quite a few of these and it smells crazy good it almost smells like pumpkin-y but it's cinnamon swirl it's so so good I think it pairs up nicely with the cashmere vanilla hand sanitizer, and that's like a whole sanitization station for people that are workers, that you, like security guards and different people that I have relationships with all over the place in the places that I go to. This is a nice gift for them because they're working with the public during times where you need things like this, plus a little gift card. I think it's just a nice thing to do. I picked up a bunch of these beautiful butterfly clips for a certain butterfly loving friend of mine. I'm sure you guys can guess who that is. And I have a big box of stuff that I plan on shipping out. And these butterflies are going to be included in it. I mean, who better to receive butterflies than my buddy Constance, Butterfly Moms Creations and more. So I'm definitely shipping some of those out to her. The next item that I have to share with you guys, I have wanted forever. This is not the first time that the Dollar Tree brought these, but it's the first time that I found them. And I'm so happy. I bought a bunch of them. These are by the brand Sai, and that is not a cheap brand. It's an actual brand name. There it is. 
these retail for like 20 bucks on the internet you get three of them you guys see that like they normally in a nice little place will hang probably like that but i'm so happy that they are sealed beautifully in this packaging it says three reusable makeup removing rounds and they feel like heaven and from what i understand they work really well and i can't wait to try them i mean i have the magic eraser um towel that pink one from the dollar tree and i really love that but these are gorgeous and if you're on a tight budget and you're doing like a gift basket you can cut these open and separate them and put like the other cleansers and stuff and just put one in each basket still makes a great presentation just to have one in each basket with like some foaming stuff and some facial cleansers and whatever masks and stuff i just think it's a really great basket filler as well I love this so much. It says being happy never goes out of style. And I actually picked that up for my mother-in-law. I think she's going to really like it. I do have a couple of items that I picked up from my mother-in-law that I better haul because I'm leaving to go for Christmas. So I want to put them in a bag as well. I picked this up. Bath rules. Start with hot water. Soak, relax, unwind. Enjoy the quiet time. Bubble your troubles away. I know she's going to love that. It matches one of her bathrooms, and I'm absolutely certain she's going to really like it. Then we have this one. A beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. Isn't that gorgeous? I think she will really like that too. And if she doesn't, it's okay. It's only a dollar and a quarter or a dollar. Um, actually, I paid a dollar and a quarter for this one, but I really think she's going to love it. The next thing that I have to share with you guys is the perfect pout lip color and um the dollar tree has gotten a lot of this repackaged merchandise full disclosure i've already opened it and the name of this color i forgot the name of it it's raisin something because i'm wearing it i've been wearing it the whole video and uh it's a very nice lipstick i usually do like wet and wild lipsticks i love matte ones but this one is creamy but not overly creamy which i love and it is called uh, Raisin With Me, like Reason With Me, but Raisin With Me. And it is a really absolutely beautiful, like burnt orange color, which would have been great for the fall. But you know what? These colors don't come so easily. And this one is magnificent. I'm very happy to have gotten this for a dollar and a quarter. It's part of the Perfect Pout line which matches very perfectly with some of the liners that the Dollar Tree had put out a while ago. These lipstick match those gel lip liners perfectly. So I'm eager to see what other Perfect Pout lipsticks I'll find in another Dollar Tree. But I was very happily happy to see this shade. It's a gorgeous lipstick. I really like it. Normally, I would be wearing red because it's so close to Christmas, but there is a lot of orange in this, so I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl, and I'm really, really happy with this lipstick. Last, but certainly not least, I want to share with you guys Petal Pusher number 736 by Wet n Wild is this really pretty purpley palette. It is a very gorgeous palette, really, for a buck and a quarter, not a dollar and a quarter can you get this at CVS. When Wild is not crazy expensive, but it's not a dollar and a quarter, guys. And again, like I said, it's been repackaged. I think that it is utterly beautiful. I'm actually going to be gifting this palette. I don't wear a lot of purple eyeshadows, but I know someone that does, and I'm going to be gifting it to her. And uh, I hope that if you're looking for this, you find it. It's really, really gorgeous. Last but not least, I want to share my absolute favorite gift bag that I found. It actually says on the packaging, touch me, I'm fuzzy. And <laughs> you can't go wrong with those words, guys. Look at the color of the handle. I love it. And the card that comes with it is a perfect match to the thing. It's just so pretty. The holly on the side. I love holly. Holly sells me every time. I love holly. Holly and it's velvet. Is that not beautiful? It is the most wonderful time of the year in velvet. This brings me nothing but joy. This bag is so pretty. I have my Christmas socks in it that we're taking to my in-laws that I want us all to wear Christmas morning and I'm really excited about. 
using that for this. And I'm throwing some other little goodies that I'm taking with us for us all to use. And um, I just really love this bag. This is the last item I'm going to share with you guys in this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have the most amazing Christmas or whatever holiday celebration you have going on. I hope you have the best of it. And I hope it leads us all into a fantabulous new year. So with that, guys, I'm going to close this probably very long video and say to you, as usual, stay safe and stay savvy, guys. Bye-bye.